So you're looking good. Looking good over here. Now what we're going to do is zoom in just a little touch. Bang. That's how we're going to have it right there. Welcome into the show, everybody. Boy, oh boy, are my arms tired. Have you just seen the reel that I put out on Instagram and uh, TikTok and uh, Facebook? Whew, I painted a, well, not even a whole mural today. Barely any of the whole thing was painted today. And my arm is already sore. So you can see I've taken my uh, black canvas, covered it with Bob Ross Liquid Clear, which looks just like this. If you happen to have a jar at home, looks just like that. All right, covered the whole thing. Made sure it was nice and thin. Dropped some in each corner and then blended it all together. Now I'm going to take off this bit of our paper towel, fold it in half, and bang, wipe it off from right to left, just one fell swoop, not trying to get it all scrubby or anything like that, just taking it off, and you can see you removed some of the excess color that we don't need to have. Now everybody knows what you're supposed to do. Check in, tell me what you're watching from, what's your favorite sandwich? And I'm going to show you how to paint a really, really cool ocean scene tonight. It's been a minute since we've done an ocean scene on Facebook and on TikTok. I know I just did one on Facebook. No, we did the, the winter scene on Facebook yesterday. So, new ground for everyone. We're going to get a little bit of our Indian yellow. And I'm going to put it way the heck out here. And just sort of mush it around into my sky. Very small amount. We don't need it to be too much. Otherwise, it'll try to overtake our whole sky, right? Then let's go into our, our thalo -y green. Toss a little thalo green out here. Maybe it mixes up over that side. You know, it's like a little, just a little, little shape out here in, in the night. Okay, let's go into our sap green. Again, very small amounts. We want it to stay dark on this canvas, right? A little sap green out here. Maybe there's a touch here, a touch there. Just so we'll have a little bit of difference in our sky. That'll be fantastic. And then what are we gonna go do right into our thalo, uh, sorry, our Prussian blue. Now the Prussian blue is so deep and so dark of a blue that we can take all these other colors and push them back. Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. You go over there and push these guys back. You can drag it down in. We get to decide what we want our little scene to look like. And just like that, maybe we had a big old blue stripe right through that green. Just because. Why not? We'll see what it looks like by the time we get there. A little bit more of our thalo -y green. Maybe we blend that back into this guy. Just a touch. Just again, see how it looks. Maybe it's a riff in space time. Now, let's go wash off all the colors off of this brush because we can't very well do much without it being all dirty we gotta have it nice and clean so you guys gotta let me know where you're watching from what's your favorite sandwiches let me know in the comments below all that out of there and over here dry off this brush all this excess color maybe i can catch some of your comments from back here where we got people watching from just all over the place all over all sandwiches are liked. Okay, now we've got all that color out there. Let's see what we can do if we just so happen to take a bit of our white. Let's go through all of our colors here. We've got our phthalo green, sap green, cadmium yellow, bright red, Indian yellow, our dark sienna brown, dioxazine purple, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, titanium white. Let's grab a little bit of our titanium white onto our brush. And I'm talking about a little bit, Josh. You don't need to have too much. Get a little of that cad yellow in there too. Now, because I was working on such a big wall earlier today, even loading my brush up a lot, I was able to keep it very sparse, which is what you want. So let's wipe off all that excess color out here. Let's come light up our night. Maybe it's starting start to grow out this way already. Don't want to have too much paint onto the canvas, right? The more paint that we put up there, the more it's going to want to grow down. Look at how instantly it got all green in that brush. Thank you for the gift over there on TikTok. I appreciate you. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday night freestyle. Over here in the building. You just can't get away from it. Paint with Josh's excitement. Right? Come down here again. A little bit of that white. Not too much. Maybe a little touch of that yellow. Let's see if we can't just sketch something out here. A couple little things that might be able to grow together. Bang, we don't want to have too much paint on the canvas. And we can always see what it looks like by the time that we come back in with our one-inch brush or your two-inch brush and start to mix it up. 
Mix it, mix it, mix it. Let it interblend with all those other little colors that are out there. And then once we come out into our green area, boy, you don't want to go back into your yellow, let me tell you. It darkens it up. A little dark and crazy. So once we're out here, let's just start making little counterclockwise circles. And already my arm is like, whoo, just from having to do that mural earlier today. That thing was massive. Just immense. Right? I don't want to go out too far. I want to leave a couple little bits light dark we can always bring in some more if we need it right just a few little things out here not trying to cover up every single thing that would be bad if we covered it all up it'd all be the same amount of brightness what if we had something coming out of this guy whipping it down crazy is it a cloud is it a galaxy who knows who knows what it is let's take our two inch brush and mix up this yellow guy just because it's already clean and dry Right, and then we can let very lightly mix it out, pull it down, push it up, pull it out, over here, over there, and just blast it everywhere. Boom! Skadoosh! Look at all those cool little things. Now, again, very small amount of paint. I'm not coming up here and grabbing like the whole biggest, thickest chunk we can get. We need a very, very, very small color. And let's say something else was happening way out here. To brighten this guy up for a second. A little piece out there, connected down into his center bit. Like it's coming up and growing out of there. It's on fire, it's gone, baby. Boo! Skadoosh! Way out here. Oh, I like it. I like it, you guys. What do you think? I gotta adjust my camera angle here. I can't even see. There we go. Look at that color. Look at all those things. Now watch, we come in here with that extra pressure on a nice clean brush. We can really take some of those bright areas and push them out. Extend them, drag them, bring it back in. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool right there. A little bit more of our color onto our brush, a little bit more of our yellow, and perhaps maybe we can brighten that guy back up. Again, you can always brighten your stuff. You can never take it away once it's already there. So don't overdo it so much that you put on too much color and then you can't and take anything away. Everything will be too dark, too bright. Too bright. Let's mix that guy down. Push it real hard as we get out here. Let's really extend the color so that it gets darker and darker and darker as it gets away from that bright spot out there. All right, same thing, same brush. Haven't cleaned it once. Over back here into the green, into the yellowish, whitish color. And perhaps something else popped out and around and it came up and it was just whatever, right? Leave some spaces for it to grow together. That's all we're doing. We're out here in the night, just making sure that all these colors don't touch, right? They don't all need to touch. If they touch, then we can't tell what's what, right? If everything's out there touching in the night. I mean, it sounds exciting, but we won't be able to tell what it is and what's going on because of all the touching, right? We gotta have some spaces in between there. Maybe a little bit more, a little touch, a little more touching, a little more touching over here. A little spot of brightness out there, and then we can come back and then blend out and push it down. So the best part about these black canvases is you can do whatever you want. This looks like a long squid <laughs> coming out of there. Very cool. Now I'm going to clean off this brush because it's getting very, very, very bluish greeny from being way out in the middle of that deep spot of our color out there. So I'll clean it off, wipe it off on a paper towel, and then I'll come back in, light up with just that white, and pop right back into the center. Pow! Just really erupt with that color. Take another clean brush so we don't dilute that color too much. And just let it whip out. Real super bright. You can even come back in again with a bit more of the pure white. Dab it into the center again. Each time you do it, it's going to, yeah, each time we go to mix it, it's going to get darker and darker and darker. So we decide what we want it to look like, how thick you want to leave it, how bright. Very cool, guys. That looks neat. Now, let's come off of that guy with just a little touch of a of a shooter down here, just a gamma ray burst. Right down towards the horizon. Boom, baby! Something happened out there. 
in the night. Remember, now we can't let them touch, but they do have to line up. They're going to line up. That was not the right angle. There we go. One off behind, right? And then you come back in. And just blend up that little space and push them off in the distance. That way, this part's coming out in, from in front, and that part is shooting out from behind. Let's brighten up this little spot, too. Bang. It's out there just growing. In the night, you can sit out here and play with your clouds and stuff forever. But just in 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes, literally knocked out that whole thing. Told you every single piece, how to do everything, where to mix, where to push, how hard, right? How softly to push all over the place. Man, that's cool. Wicked cool. Now, we've got to come out and throw some stars into that guy. Got to have some starses. All right, little filthy little hobbitses. They got to have their stars as is all over. All right, here we're going to drag off our little bit of our liquid white and then blast it off of our palette onto our canvas. And the further away that you get, the more sparse they become and much harder to see, much smaller. The more close up you are, like in your galaxy, you can be real close up right there. And that way you get all those stars real bright. Why we leave these dark areas so you can chuck in little doers all over the place, guys. <laughs> oh, they say that is fantastic. Just if you're asking me, I would say that's awesome. That is awesome. So tell me where you're watching from, guys. I got some brushes that I got to clean up. And you know when we got to clean up brushes, it only takes a minute maybe 90 seconds but in the meantime maybe you might meet somebody that just lives down the street from you in the same town maybe make some friends tell us where you're watching from and what is your favorite sandwich watching from florida from the uk you know what actually tell us what time it is where you guys are it's 5 11 where i'm at. actually just for turn to 5 12 so 5 11 where i'm at what time is it where you are in the world now, let's get a little bit of these brushes all cleaned off. Come in for the bottom and do that seascape, which is my most favorite part. The most fun bit of the whole thing. All right, remember guys, if you're watching over on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Each thumbs up helps push the video out to more viewers. The more thumbs ups we have, the more people will watch the video. The more video, the more the people watch the video, the more money I will make from YouTube for people watching the videos. So help me out, click that thumbs up button, and uh, maybe I'll have some extra milk money by the end of the month. Okay, just maybe if you hit that like button, get some extra milk money over here. It's not a lot, guys. You're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be like Peyton Josh and just survive off of YouTube. <laughs> I wish, I wish. Maybe if I had a million subscribers, maybe. Just maybe. All right, let's come over here, <clears throat> dab off this last little brush. Man, we don't need to touch a single thing about that sky. Chef's kiss, guys. Oh, fabulous. Just fabulous. Now remember, this painting's still available for sale. You can get it. This is what I do for a living. I come up here, I teach you guys how to paint, show you how to cool two, uh, cool, do cool stuff, and every once in a while, somebody will buy one of my paintings to keep me in business and keep you guys learning for free. Remember that. Try to teach the world for free. Let's come out here with some teal, some teal kind of oceany bits. We'll go into our, uh, our phthalo green. And just drop some of that phthalo green out here into our backwater. Right, right below our clouds. Doesn't need to be across the whole canvas. I don't know why I do that. It doesn't need to be. Just a little bit of our phthalo green out there. Maybe just a squeeb. A little touch of our phthalo blue right along the edge. Just to separate some stuffs. It'll look kind of cool out there. All right? And then right in between that guy, we're going to throw in our Indian yellow. But I don't want to go right into the Indian yellow on the brush that had all that blue. So I'm going to go to a clean brush. Pop the Indian yellow into here, and then launch out my gorgeous eye and my wave right in here. We have all that pretty color. It's going to go back across the blue into the phthalo green in the back. 
That's going to be gorgeous. Right? Come over here. Don't want to mix those guys too much. Go back on to our... Actually, let's go into the sap green. Throw a little sap green and a little phthalo green. Right down through here into our watery color, our little spray bit. All the stuff. And since we've got the brown out onto our palette, and we've got a whole huge pile of it, I'm going to take just a little bit of that guy. I don't want to put too much. You put too much, and it's not going to be black anymore. It's going to be bright brown, right? So we'll get a little bit of that guy, and then spread it out across the whole thing. And this should be really cool colored little seascape. We can keep it nice and dark. It's going to be the goal, right? Keep it nice and dark. Back in here. Push that brown. Doesn't have to go everywhere. Bang. Just like that. A little bit of land, a little bit of surf, a little bit of crashing wave, a little bit of far off ocean. That's how you have to set it up. Now, let's clean these brushes one more time. You guys got to tell me what time is it where you are right now? What time? If you looked at the top of your phone, like right up here or there or somewhere or in the side, somewhere over here, it'll tell you the time of day. What time is it where you are right now? Type it into the comments and I swear I'll be back to painting in just about 15 seconds. If you can just type in that, where, what time it is, that's gonna help us reach more people. More comments, more likes, more reaching peoples. Why is, oh, there we go. One more brush. Thought that guy was clean. You, sir, looked clean, but you were not. Not at all. All right. Let's come over here, over there. What do we got, guys? What do we got? Let's see, 816, it's 516 over here, so I feel you over there on the East Coast. I am on the West Coast. Okay, we're gonna come into here with all this green and blue and yellow and green and brown, all already set up. Come right over into our white color. Right, grab a little of our, thalo, our cadmium yellow like we've been doing before. And we don't need to have a whole lot on the brush. Remember, a little paint goes a long way on a black canvas. You don't need to have a whole 10 ton of amount. Let's grab our yardstick, this gorgeous thing that I missed while I was in Tennessee teaching classes. You beautiful piece of, piece of wood, you. <laughs> Come out here, right underneath where our spacey clouds live, and just whip off just one little half of a, of a horizon. It doesn't need to be across the entire canvas or anything. We're gonna come underneath this guy and just drag out a little isosceles triangle that's very long and very thin, right? Very thin little guy. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't have to all be the same shade of color or anything like that. We're gonna come back in here with our one inch brush, nice and dry, hopefully. Gotta make sure it's dry when you're on a black canvas for sure. Otherwise it'll like just drag down all this color. So let's drag across this guy very softly. All right, very, very, very gently. You can see it wants to spread all the way over here even. We didn't put it that far, right? But it wants to go that far. And there and everywhere we get to decide how far a little bit of backwater goes. And then we're going to come in with a bit of white onto our brush. And a little bit of our yellow again. Just the same little colors. All we're going to use the whole time. And let's make... Maybe just a little mustache right out here, right? One corner of the brush, the other corner of the brush. One goes down a little bit lower. This guy's much more flat. And we can come out here, we can start to grab it and slide off in the direction of sideways. Not up, not 45 degrees, not straight up, sideways. Just shoot it off sideways. And then take it out there, over to the edge, nice and sideways. And that way we'll have this bit of water coming up to our little peak goes off the other side, right? Now we're going to have perhaps one more little peak in here right through this. we got to cut through this guy right into the blue section. Oh, baby. Start taking his guy. We can pull him off on the other side. Take this guy out here like this. Start streaking it back, streaking it back, streaking it back. Start to get very, very, very sideways toward the end and leaving that little dark shadow back there. If you don't leave that dark shadow... It's all going to run together, and you're not going to know what's what, which wave is which wave, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's bring this guy down like this. Right over to the side, kind of connecting him with his other bit of ocean. And we don't really care about what the left side of the waves look like because we go cover them up with the right side of the waves. you got to cover something, right? 
A little bit more of our white, a little bit more of our yellow. Got three drags down, then we'll come down to our pile and sort of wipe it off of the brush. You don't need to have too much. Come in here like this, maybe this guy rides right along. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then we're gonna come up over here along the tip top, maybe come up over our horizon, just a little touch, and then we'll see where our wave wants to go and roll off and fall, come down and smash onto the ground, right? Take whatever color we have left, drag it back to our last little pit of darkness. I like leaving a little bit of extra space around the peak, and then you can get closer and closer and closer again. Look at how it's turned into deeper and darker blue, because we had all that Prussian blue right on this side, and then we had our lighter color over to this side. Very cool how it does that, guys. It'll do it on its own, not even kidding. All right, let's brighten it up just a little touch. Add a little more white to the brush was all. A little bit of white, drag it off. Boom, now eventually we're gonna hit a spot over here that we like to call the pivot point, right? Where our wave actually rolls down in the front and goes off in another direction. And the way to do that is to treat it like the center of a clock. So we're gonna come back to that same little bit each time, going all the way down until we're pointing down to our canvas. All this stuff can eventually be blended out into water going off the other direction. We're going to turn our brush, and again, whatever color is attached to it, we're going to about the only time where our wave is going to contact the top of the water. Everywhere else is going to have a little dark separator in between it, right? What if we took our wave this way, pulled it down, which means this guy's right up along the side. What if he turned down here, and the thing went off to the right? Like it's going down to the corner of the canvas. Fill up this little section with a bit more color when we get to it. And oh man, it's gonna be cool looking. All right, look at all these colors, you guys. Let's get in here to a little bit more of our white. Just a little more white, a little more of our yellow. Pop in our bright eye of our wave with that cad yellow on top of the white on top of the Indian yellow, guys. And that is gonna be a super bright. Eye. We don't want it to grow too far, so we get a clean, dry brush. We start to mix it very softly. Very, very, very softly. The more that we mix it, the more it's going to want to brighten up. And the more that color is going to want to get towards our next bit of wave. Next little bit of color. And if those two colors connect, they'll start to blend together, and you will have lost the eye of the wave. Right? Your eye will look just like the tip top, and that's not what we want. Just drag it out, let it get real dark underneath the the top, right? Doesn't have to all be the same color. We're going to cover over the majority of it, so just trust the process, okay? Come in here, grab a little of our white, a little bit more of our yellow. Dab it down. Over here, we're going to wipe off the excess, okay? Grab up along the top, and all we have to do, I was telling my students in uh, Tennessee, it's hard to show you right hand because that's to be on the other side. We're literally going to hold it like this, and then just toggle back and forth like a metronome, right? It's all I'm doing, but you guys can't see the front because it's behind my hand, right? Same thing, toggling it like this, just rolling back and forth, up and down to make it roll over the side, right? So what we're gonna do is stick it to the canvas, let it suction cup, and then roll it over. All you gotta do, right? Roll, roll, roll. The more that you roll it, and roll it, roll it, rolling, 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 the more it's gonna light up all that color. It starts to look like water dropping over the side. Now, let's get a little bit more color onto our brush. Down into our yellowy mixture. We need to turn and rotate and save just a little corner of darkness right there. That little corner of darkness is connected to this big guy. Right? It helps make it look like there's more wave out there in the night. All sorts of stuff. And we've automatically created a new little pivot point. Is as we come out here and we keep touching at the same spot doing the same thing, just rolling our fingers over, right? Same thing, but we're starting from a different place each time. And that way they roll down, right? We start up here, doing it, and by the time we're over here, our hand's up here, and we're doing it upside down like that, right? All depends on the angle that you put the paint out there. The paint and your brush lines are gonna tell the story of what your wave is doing. And if it doesn't make sense, nobody's gonna read your book, right? <clears throat> Very cool. Now, let's come back in here. Grab up a little bit more of our white paint and a little bit more. You see, I haven't washed the brush yet. It's starting to go tainted right here. It's totally fine. Get a little bit more yellow. Put it back down here. The whole dang painting is going to be all tainted by the time we mix everything together anyway, right? Now, we'll come in here and we'll start to drop it down. Make little horizontal lines, kind of starting a little bit uh, back from where we were to begin with until you start meeting up with your weight. Then you can change your lines and just 
guiding them up the face of the wave. Maybe this guy comes down a little bit more with some more paint onto it. Don't have to brighten up everything, right? Now, right here, same thing, right into that pile, we're gonna start making giant circles, but we're only really gonna contact it right here. If you can imagine, we've got a pivot point that starts from about right here to right there. So everything has to start from these guys and work their way in, in between these two spots, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. This is like something, this is something that the students taught me in class when I was doing a seascape. And they were like, well, isn't it like a pivot point down here? And I was like, you're 100% right. It is like a pivot point down there. So like this, we're gonna come out, long, flat strokes, right? Not pushing too hard. And now we've started to move up from our pivot point, but they're still going out. Each time we come in, we're gonna go in a little bit tighter hitting right here to start, right? All the way around. That guy, we can brighten up a little bit, get rid of that hole in the wave. Right? But the more that we push back, starting from the same point right here, now we can almost come to this guy. Start rolling back. And now as we get in, we're gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Basically making a circle, right? But we're only touching it right here as it's rolling up. And this guy, take him out, slide him over this side. Right on top of all of that brown. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Oh, look at those green colors and stuff. We have a little bit of just maybe we can add some straight up yellow, see what that'll really do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Toss this guy out there, bring it in. All right, doesn't need to be super bright. We get to change the angle. But whenever you're painting with green, always brighten it with yellow versus white. White's gonna make it look very pale. And the yellow is going to bring out the greenery in there and make it look awesome. Very cool. Look at that. So many different little colors in there. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Now, we're going to come back in here. We're going to start to soften everything down with our one-inch brush. Okay, taking our little strokes, dragging them back just so softly, just like we do to try to touch a mountain or like a baby's face. Just so soft. Over here, we can judge what we want it to look like based off of how hard we're pushing on it. If we push it real hard, it'll look like that far away ocean back there. If we don't touch it real hard, then we might leave a couple little details that you might be able to see up here in the foreground. Right? Pulling off to the side, same thing. Come up to this guy and drag him upwards instead of downwards. We can really only grab it right here. And you can imagine we have this line coming over here and then whoosh, zipping down. So you can pull over, zip down your way. Looks like that's the one place where it's rolling over and connected right there all right everything else is going to be cast in the shadow of the rolling wave very cool take this guy slide him up towards and down towards that little dark separator and keep that little ridge guys it's so cool such a cool little ridge right over there you can't tell me it's not it's a really cool little ridge it's a really cool ridge it's a paint with josh ridge over there all right now we need to come in and mix up our sand guys what are we going to do in order to make this brown stuff down here look like oceany sand. Do you guys know? Can you tell me in the comments? While I take just a quick little, quick little drinky poo. I'm so waiting on my brushes every day. I check the mail literally every day. Ugh. Literally every day I'm checking the mail to see when those brushes are going to get here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. From Chattanooga. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Let's see. It seemed to have slipped over here on uh, on Facebook. Got to take you back up a little bit. There we go. Like that. In fact, you guys didn't even tell me you were so high up. There we go. Much easier to see now, I would imagine. Perfect. Throw a handful of sand. That's what we're gonna do to make the sand? I don't know. Let's try something different. Let's come in here with a bit of our white and a bit of our yellow. Surprise, surprise. We've been using the same color over and over and over again. A right, bit of white, bit of yellow, and let's come about a quarter inch underneath where our bright green water is. As we dip down, we fall down, and psh, and all that bits of stuff. Doesn't that look like sand to you guys? You can be honest. You can be totally honest with me right now. Does that look like sand to you? Don't try to like be teacher's pet. Just be honest. Does it look like sand to you? 
And because I'm going to show you, we got to do three things in order to make it look like sand, right? So right now, I should be seeing a lot of no's. I have a lot of no's in the comments right now because it sure doesn't look like sand to me. Surely not. So remember, guys, this painting is number 1,226. 1,226 paintings. Considering that that mural is not done yet, I'm going to piece that all as one big thing, even though I've painted it in separate times. That's all one big thing, and it'll be numbered when it's finished. I'll even write the number on it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, number 1,226. So, if you're looking to purchase a very cool little seascape painting, and you want to support an artist that supports everyone and teaches everyone for free, then help me out. Go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this painting right over there. I swear these. I totally swear these guys. Let's see. Now, let's come in here. We're going to do three things in order to make sand. We need to push down, we need to pull away, and we need to push it towards. Okay? So, first thing, when we pull down, do we use a very small amount of pressure or do we use an enormous amount of pressure? Like pulling down like crazy. What do you got to think? What do you think? Let me know. I need to get some food, dude. I need some food, dude. <clears throat> what do you think in the comments? Do we use a very small amount of pressure? Or do we use an insanely large, just a heavy, hard amount of pressure? What do you think? Let me know. I'm going to come back and read some comments. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Super hard, says TMH. Four inches of snow today. My Lord. Hulk pressure, says Airy Fairy. Small pressure, says Zeke. Making tacos. Ah. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so let's try both. Somebody said uh, very light amounts. Let's go very small amount of pressure. And it's really not going to change the paint a lot because we're just touching it with this small amount of pressure, right? Now, obviously, it looks worse than it did before. That doesn't look like sand, so let's try it a bit harder. Come back in here and we'll push it, bend the bristles down, pull them off, right? Lots of pressure, lots of times. Lots of times is key because you blend it and blend it and blend it the more that you do it, right? Maybe 10, 20 times. Now, does that look more like sand? Type it in the comments. I want to see. Does that look more like sand? Yes or no is all I'm looking for, right? And if not, then you got to tell me what you think it might be. Jennifer Kane says yes. It's getting there, says floating something. Add a palm tree and it's sold. Ugh, I absolutely loathe palm trees. Like, I, I, there's nothing in the world I loathe more than painting palm trees. So, maybe, I don't know. Now, since we pulled down hard, it sort of looks like sand, but we need to do two more things, right? We need to pull away. And we need to skid it forward. So let's go with that same pressure. We'll pull it all away. Take all those vertical streaks and turn them into horizontal streaks. Doesn't that look like a whole lot more like soft sandy beach? Except we got this weird little dark separator down here. It's very thick, right? Can't have it be so thick. So what we're going to do, our very last thing, right? We pulled down. We pulled away. And now whoop, we're going to push it towards. So we'll whip it over here. Start sliding it towards our green. Now, obviously, we don't want the two colors to touch. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to tell what's sand and what's water. So we're going to leave this little dark line in there to tell us what is what. Right? A little bit more of our yellow, a little bit more of our white. Come back in here. Because we kind of scrape away at the canvas and mush that color, we need it to be a bit brighter right down in here. So we want that color to come down and smash. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's come over here. I need to get a little bit more of my wave. Now that we've got our dark separator, this is where we can come in and cut it off. Right? We don't need to have it just a straight line like that. So we can start to bring down the color of our next little wave, and we can decide where it lives. Right? Maybe this guy came out just a little bit more. 
and different places. So it's not a perfect thing. That's what we want right there, right? Now we can come in with a bit of our liquid white and our titanium white and see if we can't make like a little watery line. I like the face of that guy. I like it. All right, gotta have the titanium white in there too. Because if you don't have that guy, it becomes too thin and watery, right? Bang, bang, bang. Couple little bits over here and over there. Wiggle it down. That's a big old chunk of skin. Get that out of there. We don't need that guy. That guy's like the one guy we don't need. Around the front. A bit more of our color. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit brighter. And then we get to the side. We can literally push the whole thing back and blend it all the way into sand if we literally choose to. Totally up to us, right? We get to decide what it looks like. Let's get a little touch of that guy. Just the smallest little touch. Oh, there it is, right there. All right now, we're gonna come back in. One more little line like that guy, all right? Pretty straight, because I wanna be able to grab him with my two inch brush, very lightly. Pull it down, get that little glare. Here, there, and every glare. A couple little things, little bits. We get to decide what they look like. Very cool. I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it, right? Not everyone has to be exactly the same either, so don't over worry about it. But now here comes the fun part. What are the three dark colors that we mix up in order to create Paint With Josh Black? It's a color you might have heard of. You might have thought we were talking about a dental issue, but no, a purple black color that's so dark, so deep and so dark that all the other dark colors run for cover when Paint With Josh Black comes out. Boy, oh boy, right? Now, in order to make our crashing watery spray, we mix up our Paint With Josh Black, we drag our brush down through it, wiggling it as we go, right? Creating all those little ridges. Wiggling, 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 wiggling. It's like a, it's like a, uh, like an earthquake meter. Like normal, normal, huge earthquake. Holy cow. Right? <laughs> Wiggle it down. All it does is it takes our brush, and as it's wiggling, it separates the fingers a little bit so we can fill it with more paint. Now we're going to turn it on the side. We're going to come up and connect underneath the point where that dark separator is and just start to roll over. <laughs> smacking upon the canvas with fury and force. As we come down here, especially at the bottom, you can get all sorts of crazy at the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. All this nonsense. Everywhere, guys. It's all over. That's all you gotta do. Smash it in, beat it down, get all those crazy bits of spray, all dark, so we can come down and hit onto our land. Or land mass, right? If you've got a couple little fingery bits and textury pieces in there, it's really going to help out. Okay, now we've got to come back in, do the exact same thing, but with white and very, very, very light pressure. We don't want to have too much of our pressure. Let's take a bit of this paint with Josh Platt too and sort of work it into our beach just a touch. Just a little, so it works it away. You might end up putting a rock right there or something, but at least it won't all be the same amount of bright color. Oh, I like that better. There we go. Always got to have some differences, right? Okay, now let's wash off this brush. We'll go back over. We'll get all of our liquid white and our titanium white and our yellow because we got to have the, the yellow. We can't forget about it. We've been using them this whole time. This whole time. There we go. Yeah. Gotta get our liquid white onto our brush. It's a very runny, very milky, wet paint, okay? Versus our our thick kind of solid frozen ice cream paint. This is a very wet, runny paint. So we're gonna get our yellow and our white and our really runny, wet white together. Excuse me, I'm about to have the hiccups. We're gonna come over the tip top of all of this guy right here, right? And start smashing on. The more we go, the more we tap. Very light taps. If you hit it too hard, boy, oh boy, you're not gonna like it. Come down here, little things, turn our brush over, and start smacking up, rotating around the side first, and then we can go fill it in 
with all of our little smashes, right? Sometimes we need to get more paint on the brush than anything else, but it's about going in that order, staying up around, and then we can work it down with a little bit more of our liquid white, a little bit more of that yellow, a little bit more of our white, and just start tapping in all these little smashy bits. Now, even though we've just come in here and just smashed on all this color, and all this craziness. Boom! What have we left? What have we left, guys? In between all those bits of brightness. As I wash off the brush, I'm sure there's somebody out there saying it. Somebody's got to be out there saying it. What do we leave, guys? I'm not continuing until everyone in the chat has said what we were leaving. Man, that's a cool looking color of a wave. All those little bits. The black, right? Dark separators. Is the painting sold? Are you serious? What? Hey, -oh, I'm not throwing in a palm tree. I said no. I loathe palm trees. But hello, looks like we got a sale, guys. I'll have to check it after, um, after we finish up here. But always fun when Paint Josh makes a sale. We'll have a light party. We'll do all sorts of stuff. Just stick with me till the end, right? Come over here, grab up our brush, very nice, very clean and dry. And we're gonna come over to the side and we're gonna start to mix it down. And the more that we mix it and the more that we pull on it, the more it's gonna all look the same. That's not what we want. We don't want it all to look the same. Very, very light little things up here, guys. Very small, very light little touches. And that way, it doesn't overdo it too much. If it opens, if I must've got it to look, dude, maybe it's my brushes. The dogs just went crazy. Bailey? Bailey? Can you go check the door and see if the new Paint With Josh brushes have arrived? Because that would like be amazing and everyone would love you so much and I'll take you to the jumpy place right after the show. She acts like I can hear her. Like, I'm deaf. I'm deaf. She's selectively deaf when it comes to my voice. So we both just go, huh? Huh? <laughs> just back and forth all the time. Okay. Now we've got to do this twice, right? That was our first round. So let's come back for round two. And as we come in, we get our palette up again. We go grab up all that liquid white again, right? Very runny. That's probably not even enough. Very runny, very wet paint. There we go. We're going to run it down through our titanium white. Grab a little touch of our yellow over there too. So we get that same color. You just want it to be very wet, like melted ice cream. Take it from its frozen ice cream scents and make it melty. We come back in, we start popping in more little bits over some of those little shadows, kind of keeping them a little bit more separate. They don't all have to be the same. All right now, we come down again, we just go crazy. Where do you want them to be? All these little bits of brightness and stuff. And even though we've just come in and absolutely smashed on a whole other ton of bits of white. What have we left in between all of those pieces, guys? In between those pieces is the secret to depth, right? Do you know it? Do you know? Because all of them were deceived for another secret was made. <laughs> oh, man. I could go on, but I won't. Do you guys know the dark separators? That's right. Okay, now we're gonna take the same brush. Let's dab it off on a paper towel a couple times. A couple dabs on a paper towel. Don't need to really run it through the whole mill again. Now we're gonna go even lighter than we did before as we come out here with such a small touch and sometimes not even touching certain places. All right, maybe it whips over there. Maybe there's a few bits. It had some here, there, and just, that's it. Don't touch it any more than that. And see how it's got all these little different things and all these little bits of color, and brightness, and depth, and little different areas that is exactly what we want. <clears throat> now, here comes the most funnest bit of all time. If you're a Paint With Josh fan or follower and you know what's coming up, you might have seen this before. You might have heard of the crazy guy who just ba -ba -ba booms all over his painting all the time. But you might never have seen it live. So here you go. You're in for a treat. We're going to come in with a little bit of our liquid white. Drop it right along the edge of our palette. Oh, <laughs> now we're doing a seascape because I just chucked some out there. Same way we did our stars, we're going to come in here and just go crazy. And if you don't like my voice, turn down your volume right now because it's about to get loud. Here we go. Boom. 
room as we spray in all these crazy bits. They come off the pallet. They're hitting the canvas. They're looking all over the place. They're in the sand. Get some of that yellow in there, too. Woo! Some yellowy sandy water. Right? It adds more depth. We have to look through so many little pieces of watery spray that it gives it depth that we're trying to find our bit of our brush strokes in there. And with those little millions of little bits of water blowing out of the whole smash, just the whole kit and caboodle, boom! All different sizes, different lengths, different colors, different everything. Bang! You fill it as much as you want. The more that you put in there, the more depth you're gonna have. Bang! That's fantastic. Okay, let's come over here. We gotta start coming up with a name. Who bought this painting, firstly? because the buyer gets to choose the name, you guys just get to suggest names, right? We suggest a name and perhaps the person that bought the painting will choose the name that you put forth. That's the goal. That's the whole reason we do this thing, right? So we're typing in our favorite names into the comments right now. And that way, you can get them all read out and all done up. Man, this wave looks freaking rad. Just rad-tastic. All the little bits coming in, softening them down. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. <laughs> now I gotta wash my brush again. There we go. All right, guys. So, does anybody know who purchased this one? Apparently not. In any case. Flying through the sky. Oh, I love those birds. Those birds, man. Let's come down here. Zip it down. The little guy over here and over there. Hey, that fire. Fantastic. Fantastic. Does anyone know who purchased this painting? Because they get a free gift and they get to choose the name, so I hope that they're here watching. You can imagine with all three platforms, somebody would be here watching. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. I'm so tired from doing that friggin' mural today. If anyone ever asks you to do a mural, don't. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's not like you can just take a, a black canvas and put it up. You have to make the whole wall black. And then uh, by the time you're done, it's like, uh, oh my God. Like even prepping it with clear and then doing the colors and doing all that stuff. It's just insane. Insane. Mac did, I think, says Mac. That's funny. Oh, Mac. Mac. <laughs> Uh, I love the water in this one. It's very, like, reflective of the uh, the spray. Very cool. Emerald Heart of the Sea. I like that. You know how it goes. All right, Mac, what are we thinking for a name? And then we'll get the old spinny-winny wheel out and uh, get racking and rolling. Get ma macking and rolling. <laughs> Dude, this change right here is so fire. That guy off the back. I love doing a little finger painting afterwards. Just, just helps. Just helps. This, though. So good. So good. I just can't stop looking at it. So, what are we coming up with for a name, Maggie Boo? With these guys around. You gotta go back before you go down, guys. Don't just whip it straight down. Start going back first, and then they will whip up and catch from the front, but you gotta have them come down, back and down, back and down, back and down, 
not just straight. Same with these guys. You got to roll them up and in, right? Up and in, up and in, up and in. You get those cool little marks. Again, just creating a little circle. All we're doing is just only drawing the one part of it, really. These guys blend it up very softly. Just like that. Very cool. A couple little extra details. Toss those in because Max a regular buyer. You know. You know. <laughs> All those extra details that were so hard to put in. It's a, it's a joke, everybody. It's a joke. All right. So, you guys have been fantastic. I need a name. I don't think I'm going to come back for a second show tonight because I did that friggin' mural. And if you want to go see the mural, go check out my Facebook page, my Instagram, and, um, and my TikTok, and you'll see the mural that I did. It's very similar to this guy, except we didn't put the wave in. It was just like a galactic sky type of deal. And that'd be very cool. So, I can't get over how much I dig this one, though. Honestly, I can't get over it. Baby bits as they start rolling up and rolling over. All right, Mac, what are we going to name it? Mackie Poo. Mackie Poo Beach. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. Oh, Mac. That's just rude. That's. That's just rude. I don't even want to tell you guys what the title is because of how rude it is. <laughs> but you'll see it when I write it down. You'll see it. Alright, let's see. That, this, this one is number 1226. I can't believe so many paintings have gone by. Let's see the title one more time. Oh, yeah. That's, that's very nice of you, Mike. All right, here we go. He called it Palm Less Shores because I didn't want to paint a palm tree. Mac <laughs> of Parrot Bay. I like the rest. I do like the rest. Parrot Bay. Excellent title. Excellent, except for the palmless shores part. <laughs> I'm gonna come over here. It's uh, what's the date? It's my mom's birthday today, guys. Oh, luckily I already texted her and said happy birthday. But if you guys could wish my mom a happy birthday, if you've seen my videos before, she's called in during the show sometimes. Um. Yeah, happy birthday, Mom. I love you. I love you so much. And uh, you are not one day older in my eyes. You still look gorgeous, Mom. Over here. Over there. You know old ladies. I didn't... I, whoa. Whoa, I was about to say, you know old ladies. I was like, older women. They don't like how they look. And it just seems to get worse with time, right? But my mom, she's still smoking. <laughs> you know, I used to get such crap in high school. For having a hot mom, quote unquote, and uh, yeah, it was um, it was heck to deal with. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. There we go. Cool. Right on, guys. Well, this one came out amazing, just legit amazing. Happy birthday to Josh's mom. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Well. Uh, this one came out fantastic. I am so overly tired. I need to get some food and go take a nap. And I think at 6 o'clock, London's going to be over in her Discord. She wasn't feeling well, so she wasn't going to go do a live show. But she was going to be over in her Discord channel. So if you're a part of that, then you'll be able to go over and see her. But, um, yeah, beyond that, I don't think I'm going to come back for another one. I'm so tired. I'm talking about... Like, my arm, I was, I, like, imagine how buff Michelangelo was after he painted the Sistine Chapel. He was, like, holding his arm up the whole time. <sighs> that takes it out of you, let me tell you. Takes it out of you, smushing around this paint and holding it up all the time. All right, Mac, what are we going to do with the spinny winny wheel? Let's see what we're going to get on the wheel. I wonder if he's going to give it away, if he's going to... Yeah, you guys and your palm trees, please. When I send it to you, you guys paint a palm tree in it. You guys paint a palm tree in it when I send it to you. How about that? I'll set it up. You guys knock it down. 
Are we keeping the wheel, Mac? I'm assuming. Backpack. He's hoping for the backpack. Okay. All right, guys. Let's do the wheel, and then we'll do this, the uh, light party, and then we'll say goodnight. Okay? So, here we go, Mac. Anything it lands on, whether it be, I don't know, spin again, or maybe paint with Josh wins, you lose. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, right? Come over here like this. Let's see what you're going to get. That's not very fair. Let's do it again. There was a malfunction in the wheel. Obviously, there was a malfunction <laughs> in the wheel. Oh, well, at least you got a lucky spin again. Maybe the third time's a charm for the backpack, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Oh! I dig it. I know Mac already has that coffee mug, but I'm going to get him another one that no one in history has. So, he'll be happy with that. Let's get over here. Oh. So, um, you guys have literally been fantastic. I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTube audience and the Facebook audience, and we'll hang out on TikTok for just a few minutes and uh, say thank you to all you guys. So, I love you guys over on Facebook. Very much appreciated. Thank you for tuning in and watching. You guys used to be my biggest audience. You're now my smallest audience. So, if I can have some help from you sharing this video and getting it out, uh, you know, we went from 735,000 to 3,000. Not 300,000, 3,000. So I need your help getting this video out there. Uh, and if you don't follow me on Facebook on these other platforms, go to facebook.com slash official paint with Josh. Love you guys. Love you, Facebook. Love you, YouTube. And until I see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. Bah, bah. It's over. Boom!